Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel for VBA video, we are going to continue our discussion which we started from the previous video. And this discussion was about copying and moving sheets in Microsoft Excel. So let us start. Uh, in front of your screen, you can see that this is the workbook which I created in the previous video. And we were trying to copy this sheet known as renamed sheet to some other place. So to copy it simply using Microsoft Excel, what you need to do is just right click over here. Uh, when this sheet is present, you need to just right click. There is this option to move or copy. You can just click on this option. And when you do that, you will get this kind of a menu, which is a move or copy menu. From here, you can select uh, the workbook that you want to paste it in a particular workbook or in a new workbook okay so i just want to paste it in the same workbook that is book one and then uh, there is another option that before which sheet you need to perform this action i want to perform it before sheet one so you can just provide it uh, with that particular sheet you can just select that particular sheet and your sheet would be moved to uh, that particular position right now renamed sheet would be moved before sheet one and if you click on OK, then what happens is uh, from here, this sheet moved towards here. That is before sheet one. And that's exactly what we wanted. But this is how you can perform the move function. What if you want to perform a copy function? Then what you can do is simply you can just right click over the sheet. Go to again this move or copy option. Uh, the workbook is going to be the same. And when you want to create a copy, then there is an option of create a copy. You need to check this box and your sheets copy would be created. So here again, you can select that before which sheet you need to create a copy. But if you want to create a copy of this particular sheet at the very end, then this is this last option called move to end. You can just select this option. And once you click on OK, you can see that a new sheet is created over here or a copy of renamed sheet is created over here and by default or by the naming convention its name has been changed to renamed sheet and within parenthesis you have got a 2 which means that yes this sheet is actually a copy of this sheet this sheet is original one and this is a copied one okay so that's how the move and the copy function works but that was about the microsoft excel that was the easy way but what if you need to perform the same action using the visual basic code so how can you do that for that let us just minimize our microsoft excel uh, or restore its size so that both of the screens are visible and okay so let us just create a new module Go to our VBA editor. If you do not have the VBA editor in front of you, simply you can use the shortcut Alt F11. Go to the insert menu and insert a new module. Let's just rename it as copy sheets. Okay. Uh, so that's the name of our module. Press enter. And once you open copy sheets in the code pane, let us just create a sub procedure. And in the sub procedure, let us again give it a name. This is actually going to the name of our macros. Open and close the parenthesis, press error in sub is what you get at the end to recognize that yes, it is a sub procedure. Now, let us start with our um, thing that is we need to just copy the sheets. First of all, let us uh, understand the copy function. Okay, so for the copy function, what you need to do is first access the sheets. Okay, if you just right click over here. Then you will find all the sheets list. So what I'm going to do is perform all my options on this custom sheet on the sheet named as custom sheet. OK, that's the first sheet. So click on OK. Now we need to first access the sheet named as custom sheet. OK, so for that, what we need to do is use the worksheets function, which we have already read about. And within the parenthesis, you need to provide the name of that particular sheet. So let us just provide as custom sheet sheet actually and just close the uh, double quotes close the parenthesis then uh, you need to put a dot and after the dot what you need to do is provide it with a property or a function known as copy so you have got this inbuilt function called copy and after you press a space you have an option of providing that 
before which shade you need to copy so that is similar to our uh, menu that we got over there the move or copy menu that we got over there we um, can select that before which sheet we need to copy it so if you just right click over here you will get all the sheet list and i want to copy it before uh, say sheet one okay so for that what we need to do is simply type in the keyword before like this and after typing before you need to provide it with a colon and an equal sign so just put a colon put an equal sign then again put a space and then you need to provide the name of the worksheet so again use the worksheets function and in parenthesis with double quotes write the name of the sheet before which you want to copy it so that's sheet one in our case and that is our line of code let us execute it and if we just right click over here so you get this menu sheet menu what you can see is custom sheet 2 is a copy uh, of custom sheet uh, is created just before sheet 1 which is exactly what we wanted okay so that was about before how can you uh, copy a sheet before a particular sheet but what if you want to copy it after a particular sheet now this is used um, when we are trying to use that move to end function so if you want to move uh, use that function you do not have move to end option over here what you can do is just right click uh, click over here and find out the last sheet's name it's right now renamed sheet 2 and after this particular sheet you can just copy your sheet okay so that's actually ra named uh, i'll try to give it renamed but it was a typo that is ra named okay so let's just work on it so what do you need to do for that purpose is actually just uh, get rid of this piece of code and write in worksheets function what sheet you need to copy uh, that's custom sheet that's the name of the sheet custom sheet that i want to copy and what you know, operation you want to perform i want to copy it position after okay after which thing after a worksheet which is need to be accessed with a worksheets function and what is the name of the sheet it is ra named sheet and space with parenthesis two to specify that yes it is a copy and close the double quotes close the parenthesis and when we try to run this piece of code it's run you can see after renamed sheet two we have got a custom sheet three why sheet three because we have already created a copy of this custom sheet with a two so you can see on uh, that in this activate menu we have got our custom sheet three so that is how you can copy the sheets okay so that was the usage of the copy function but what if you want to move your sheets like we had this copy or move option we had two options we can copy the sheets or we can move the sheets so what if you want to move the sheets then what happens uh, and the syntax to move the sheets is same as the copy sheets uh, all you got to do is simply write the piece of code but instead of the copy property you need to use the move property so if we just right click over here suppose i want to move sheet one okay so i need to access work sheets using the worksheets function i need to access the sheet whose name is sheet one then put a dot now instead of the copy property we need to provide the move property then um, before and after that is the position that's mandatory to perform uh, to put before put a colon then put an equal sign before which sheet i want to move it to the first uh, position that is before worksheet uh, named as custom sheet so worksheets and within double quotes you need to provide its name that before which sheet so in my case it is custom sheet okay so that's how you can work with it or simply i'm just going to copy it so that i can show you the after uh, method as well this time what i'm going to do is move a sheet named as sheet 2 and move it instead of before i'm going to move it after after which sheet i'm going to move it after sheet 1 
so wherever the sheet one is uh, after it we would get the sheet two okay so this is a piece of code and let's run it let's uh, just look at the position right now it's after custom sheet two now if we just run it and now if we look at the position then sheet one and sheet two are at the first two positions then is custom sheet and all the other sheets so that's how you can use the move and the copy functions in microsoft excel using the vb and that's all for this video i hope you all have enjoyed it thanks for watching